Scotland has lost 158 free-to-use cash machines in the space of just one month with 120 of them now charging customers for the right to withdraw their money, our sister title The Herald can reveal. The figures for December from Link, the overseers of the UK's largest cash machine network, seen by the newspaper, show that the rate by which Scots are losing the right to free access to cash is at an all-time high, despite attempts to preserve them. Which? The consumer organisation is today urging the new Chancellor to use next month's budget to protect the UK's access to cash, as new its research reveals that the industry's efforts to fix Britain's broken cash landscape are doomed to fall desperately short. It comes after it emerged that Link's guarantee free access to cash on every Scottish high street is at risk, because demand is outstripping the cash available. Link have now got an extra £3 million to spend on the free ATMs from the industry but it is only enough to install around 160 across the whole of the UK. There have been over 2,700 requests since the pledge was made. With 1 in 10 requests across the UK coming from north of the border, it would mean that as it stands there is funding for just 16 free ATMs in Scotland. It is estimated that Scots Bank customers are now paying nearly £10 million a year to withdraw their own money as free cash machines shut at a record rate. Scots are estimated to have forked out £9.5 million in 2019 alone, nearly double that of 2018 when banks took in £5 million from their customers. Now the newspaper has learned that at the end of 2019 there were 4,437 free-to-use ATMs in Scotland, a loss of nearly 1,000 in two years. Meanwhile there are now 1,420 charging ATMs, a rise of nearly 500 over two years. Across the UK a staggering 9,500 free-to-use cash machines have been lost in the two years, says which? Which is concerned that Link's attempts to invest in new cash machines is expected to fall drastically short of what's needed to serve communities hit hard by a double whammy of sharp reductions in free-to-use cash machines and rapid closures of bank branches. It is concerned industry schemes such as Link's are merely scratching the surface of a systematic issue that threatens to cut adrift millions of people who still view cash as an everyday necessity, as society rushes headlong to embrace the digital revolution. Which believes the only solution that can address the dramatically eroded cash system is to introduce legislation to prevent it from crumbling completely. Ahead of the budget, which has today, words, written to the Chancellor, calling for legislation to be introduced that protects cash for as long as it is needed. Panel members behind the Access to Cash Review, which published warnings a year ago that the UK is sleepwalking into a cash-free society are can say for more on this story, visit the news article link.